The McDonnell FH Phantom was a jet fighter developed and tested during World War II. It was originally designated the FD Phantom, and it was the first purely jet-powered American fighter to land on a carrier. In early 1943, McDonnell was invited by the U.S. Navy to cooperate in the development of a carrier-based jet fighter. McDonnell produced a design that had two 19-inch Westinghouse turbojets buried in the wing roots, keeping intake and exhaust ducts short. The engines were angled slightly outwards to protect the fuselage from the hot exhaust blast. The design had a bubble-style canopy, placed in front of the wings to provide the pilot excellent visibility. The engine placement also allowed the design to use a tricycle landing gear. The Phantom had unswept wings, that were foldable to save space on the carrier. 450 caliber machine guns were placed in the nose, and eight 5-inch high-velocity rockets could be carried under the wings. The prototype, designated XFD-1, made its first flight January 26, 1945, using only one turbojet engine, since this was all that was available at the time. A production contract was signed in March 1945 for 100 FD-1s. However after the end of the war, the order was reduced to 30 aircraft, but this was soon adjusted up to 60 aircraft. The first prototype was destroyed in a crash in November, but the second prototype performed its first carrier landing July 21, 1946. The second prototype was also lost in a crash a month later. The production aircraft had several improvements from the prototypes. A centerline drop tank and an improved gun sight were added, as well as speed brakes. The production models used Westinghouse J30WE20 engines. The top of the vertical tail had a slightly different shape, and a smaller rudder was used. Tail surfaces were shortened and the fuselage was stretched. The visibility for the pilot was improved even more. The first production Phantoms entered service in August 1947, and became the first jet to operate with both the U.S. Marine Corps and the U.S. Navy. However the Phantom would have a short career as a frontline fighter, since it had limited range and light armament. The performance improvement from propeller-powered aircraft was not great, and there was a fear that the Phantom would soon be outmatched by enemy jets. Also, the Phantom lacked the ability to operate as a fighter bomber, and it suffered a number of design flaws, such as poor navigational avionics. The Phantom was retired from the Navy and the Marine Corps in 1949, and from the Naval Reserve in 1954. It never saw combat. A total of 62 Phantoms were produced. <laughs>